Hey, what is going on YouTube? We are back with another video in our series of Bubble Sort, and today we're going to cover <clears throat> Bubble Sort in Node.js. Uh, so last video, I said that we, I was thinking about maybe uh, removing the coding of everything that's going to be kind of the same throughout the videos, and maybe start that next series. I decided I'm going to start in this series. As you can see, I've already got code up on the screen. I'll walk through it, but I'm not going to code it again because that's not the point of this video or any future video regarding any algorithms because the main focus would be the algorithms and then keep writing, you know, opening the file and converting and printing and all that stuff uh, is not important because once you do it once, you kind of get it and then, you know, you can run with it. So, what I have up on the screen is Visual Studios, Visual Studio Code, pretty great IDE, and we have our required FS, which reads in our files, right there, which we have our random 10 numbers, and then we convert that to a string, and then we split on new lines, and then we store it in this array, and then the only thing that's new out of this video compared to C++ and Java, and then the Python, will be this convert to ints. Uh, all the other ones will have a print function. This node application will not because I can just simply print out the array with console.log. So convert to ints, what it, what it does is basically just take takes this array of strings and then it's just gonna convert, it's just gonna map through and convert each item to an integer and store it in B and then we just return B into a array again. That way we can just work with integers as opposed to characters because then the comparisons don't equal each other. So it's best we just convert to integers and do what we need to do. So we have that, then we go ahead and print it out and it prints out the unordered and then we come down here to bubble sort and then I have this bubble sort function which we don't have yet, which I'm gonna write here shortly. We pass in the array and then we console log it back out again, kind of the same stuff as you've seen before if you watched the previous videos. So let's jump right into function. And then we need our bubble sort. And then we're gonna pass in that array. I'm just gonna label it A, because I'm lazy. Uh, for good programming practices, you wanna name meaningful name, have meaningful name variables. For uh, let i equals zero, i is less than a dot length, i plus plus. Then we say for let j is equal to i plus one j is less than a dot length j plus plus this is our if block so if a i is greater than a j then we go ahead and drop into this conditional and we just go temp is equal to a i then we say a i is equal to a j and then we just set a j equal to temp that should be that's all that we need to do let's go ahead and run it um i'm hoping it works probably have to save it first uh oh there we go, we got it. So we got the unordered array here at the top, and then we go in the bubble sort, and then we go ahead and sort it out one through 10. Quick and easy sorting algorithm. Not useful in other applications. The purpose just to get something sorted quickly. Bubble sort works just fine. Especially if you got a small amount of data to work with. There you have it, folks. Bubble sort in Node.js. If you have any questions or anything, drop them down below in the comments. I would greatly appreciate it. As always, thank you for watching the video. Always happy to have you here. Uh, drop a like if you found this video helpful, useful. Uh, Node seems like a pretty popular language to work with. I got some cool ideas to work with Node here in the future. 
got a server up and going so you can take that and build out a fully functional website if you guys want. Uh, you can find that video down below. But yeah, thank you for tuning in. Hope to see you guys next time. One more video in Bubble Sort, which is going to be Python. So make sure you subscribe if you want to see that. See ya.